Hi guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Medic Hero. I am a medical student studying in the UK. We've been blessed with eyes that can see colour and we don't realise the impacts of it unless that is taken away from us. So within the last 10 seconds, if you have felt a difference in your feeling, then just imagine what impact and what effect good lighting and colour may have on your studies. Light is an important factor to consider for students. If you have poor lighting, then your concentration won't be as great. So in this video, I will go over pretty much everything that you need to know about LED lighting and studying. So when light hits the back of our eye, which is specifically the retina, what then happens is it triggers, that light will trigger chemical neurotransmitters, which then as a result convert into electrical impulses, which are then conveyed to the brain and eventually the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus, together with the pituitary gland, regulates appetite, body temperature, water regulation, the autonomic nervous system, and many other different functions within the body. What that means is that colour isn't just a visual stimulus, but can also create physiological changes within us. Established research into colour and psychology suggests that colour can have effects on us on all levels so that's mental physical and emotional in other words different wavelengths of light can trigger different feelings every color affects how we think how we feel and how we behave so now we know that color can affect our mood let me ask you another question when you feel sad or stressed can you work no not really so whilst studying you also have to take care of your mood and the way you can adjust that or change that is by lighting. Lighting can affect your mood, which in turn can affect the efficiency of your study session and as a result you get better results at school or university. Being a student you want to take advantage of that and put it to good use and then as a result enhance your learning experience. So what is the best LED light colour for study? Well, studies suggest that the best is the white natural LED colour. And the reason being for this is that it mimics as much as possible the natural lighting outside. It is said that any light that mimics daylight should be ideal for studying. And at times when daylight isn't available, we kind of want to mimic daylight. And this is where colour temperature comes into the picture. So when shopping for LED light bulbs or just LED lights in general, you'll find that the temperature of the LED light is something that is very, very important to consider. Also bear in mind that color temperature is measured in Kelvin. So to understand the idea of temperature and light, let me show you an example. So this candle light right here, it has a warmish glow to it. This is around 1,800 Kelvin. Whereas on the other side of the spectrum, we are looking at a winter's day, which would have around temperature of 6,500 Kelvin. So the natural light, which is around 4,000 to 6,500 Kelvin, is the best solution for eyes and allows you to work comfortably. So when you consider to, you know, adjust the lighting in your room or in your study room, it is suggested that you get the natural white LED light for studying. But there is something else that you need to consider apart from the color temperature, and that is the color rendering index. So let me explain what that is. CRI, Color Rendering Index, and this basically tells you how closely a light reproduces the color of a certain object. It's almost like the quality of the light and how it allows certain objects to emit its own and true colors. So the CRI scale goes from 0 to 100, 100 being the best and 0 being really, really bad. So typically you would want any sort of light which has a CRI above 85. Anything lower than 85, just don't consider it at all. The best thing about LED light bulbs which have a CRI of above 90 is that they don't produce blue light, which can be very, very harmful to the eyes. And you'll find that in today's modern day world, we have laptops, TVs, phones, multiple other different devices which emit this blue light. But any LED bulb which has a CRI above 90 doesn't tend to emit this blue light, which is harmful for the eyes. So it's something that you would also want to consider when buying your LED light bulbs. 
So the three main things that you want to take away from this video is number one, natural white LED lighting. This is because it mimics the daylight. Number two, you want to find LED light bulbs or LED lights which have a CRI color rendering index above 90. And lastly, try and go for lighting which has, you know, an ambient lighting to it. So London, there was a research going on where there was a group of students and they had ambient lighting around them and their test scores improved by three times as much in comparison to when they were in a normal classroom with poor lighting. So that is why I went out and got the Olanz VL49 RGB LED light. The reason why I like this so much is number one, the color temperature ranges from 2500 to 9000 Kelvin, which is perfect because we want the 4500 Kelvin range. Number two, the CRI is above 95, which is perfect. So that means there will be less of that blue light. And number three, the battery life is pretty good as well. And it's wireless as well. So, and if I wanted to, I can use this whilst it's plugged in. So I wouldn't really have to worry too much about, you know, the charge. So if you want this, the link is in the description below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and keep smiling.